Hello everybody, welcome to another video. In this one, I'm going to be attempting to make a Hyrule shield. And that is like the one that Link carries on the Legend of Zelda games. Now, I haven't practiced this, so I'm pretty much winging it from inside my head. So, first of all, you want to copy your image from somewhere. I traced this off my computer screen. Now, I made two copies so that I've got plenty of templates. So with one of your copies, cut out the main shield part and then trace around that onto a cardboard box. Then I'm going to cut out all these pieces and then draw around them on the cardboard box also. Okay, like so. Now the way that I figured it in my brain, we're going to need three of these. So once you've cut that out, Draw around it another two times and then cut those out too, as well as all your little pieces. Okay, so when you've got out all your pieces, you should have three of these and then all your individual accent pieces. Now, with these, you need to take one and put it to the side because that is your main baseboard. And then what you need to do is take out the cutout from your original paper version and just draw around the edge border and then cut that out separately and then for your last one you need to just take your cut out from this again but then just miss off all the bits that stick out so you basically just got a border and then cut this out as well Okay, so when you've got all the pieces cut out, it should look something like that. One on the front, one on the back. And then what you want to do is glue those all together. Okay, so when, when that's dry, you want to take out one of the middle parts of the back. You know, the back piece that you cut out. Oops. And then you want to cut out two strips from this and then place them on here and glue them down and it should look something like that and then what you want to do is turn it over and then you want to replace all your accent pieces back on the front and then stick them down. So then when everything's in place, you should have something that looks like that. Now in hindsight, I would have made the frame a little bit bigger so that the feet, the pieces, the pieces um, fit on a little better, but since I've never done it before, I think that's turned out pretty well. And now this is where the fun part comes in. Okay, for this next part, you're going to need some kind of container. You're going to need some water. You're going to need some PVA glue. I believe this is called Elmer's glue in the States, something like that. And you're also going to need some sheets of toilet paper. Now what we're going to do is cover this in the toilet paper with a water and PVA mixture. And what that does, it acts as kind of a, a paper mache kind of effect once it's dried with like a glossy finish. And I've never done it before, I've just seen it on Art Attack when I was a kid. So I'm channeling my inner Neil Buchanan in order to get this done. So if it goes wrong, it goes wrong. So we'll see. Okay, so here goes nothing. As far as I can remember, what you need to do is you need two parts glue to one part water. Which if I put it another way is, however much glue you use, you only need half as much water. And then, apparently, you just lay down 
your sheet of little roll and then paste on the mixture getting into all the nooks and crannies Okay, so that's the front done with a coat. I just need to leave that to dry and then I can do the back. Okay, now that is dry both front and back. It doesn't look the way I was expecting, but that's okay because we're going to paint it anyhow. So I think the first bit I'm going to do is the inside here, which is blue. So when it's finished painted it should look something like that or thereabouts it's not perfect by any means but for some bits of cardboard and some paint I don't think it's too bad now that's going to go on my son's bedroom wall so if you'd like to see me take a, a stab at anything else in the same vein then please let me know in the comments thanks for watching i hope you've enjoyed it half as much as i've enjoyed making it and um, stay tuned for next time bye just an extra point i've now added some black accents around each part just to make them stand out a little bit more and on the edges I think that helps it look a bit more three-dimensional. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.